Our first day of high speed testing was a success. We ran multiple runs at maximum speeds of 110 miles per hour. Our test train, Bright Green, left our running repair facility bright and early at 7.30 in the morning and headed north to the testing area. This testing was a coordinated effort between the train crew and our crews on the ground, including the flaggers and law enforcement officers who were located at each of the crossings throughout this testing corridor. When we see those crossing gates down, they should think a train is on its way and a train is coming fast. When those gates are down, it's very important that they come to the stop and they stay for the duration. Safety improvements have been made at these crossings, including new crossing gates, signals, roadway markings, and quad gates or medians to deter people from driving around the crossing gates. We will continue this testing over the next six weeks in Martin and St. Lucie counties, and we ask the public to remain vigilant around railroad crossings. Don't stop on the tracks, don't drive around the gates, and only cross at a designated crossing.